fire away. Uh, what was it like to be out there after sitting for you? Uh, it was just a lot of fun being able to, to be out there with the guys because you sit out for 18 months and watch them have all the fun, so it was nice to, to be out there. When did you know you were on a roll rebounding role? You know, rebounding is just something I, I feel is like uh, the best part of my game, so I just try to go for every rebound and, and see what happens, but uh, I had a feeling I was getting a lot of them. <laughs> And what do you guys think of the defense performance? What do you credit that as with Quincy now is on the coaching staff? Uh, yeah, I think Quincy has done a great job. We we really bought into these defensive principles. And today I think we proved to ourselves that we can get up in the line. We can be where we need to be, play individual and team defense. And this is going to be a, a big springboard for us moving forward. Chase, what would you say is the, the key to getting out? Uh, I think we really prepared well for this one. I think we always do with great coaching staff. But I think all of our guys bought in. We knew what we had to do. Um, you know, we came out and played well. But I think it starts on defense for us. And Quincy's brought a great mindset to this team. And I think we know we're going to score. You know, we know what shots are the shots we're going to shoot. So I think we really limited them uh, on their offensive end. And I think we came out with intensity on defense, and that was probably the main thing. Do you feel like offensively there's still a little bit of adjusting to do without tightening the lineup? It's kind of steady all the time. Um, I'm just to fill that role kind of piece. Thing. I mean, obviously, Todd's leading score in BYU history, but you guys saw it tonight. I don't think there was really any adjusting. I think it was. Pretty, you know, flowing. I mean, we had some points where it stuck a little bit, but I think you know we we executed well. We probably I don't know what we shot from the field, but it's probably really high. We got a lot of good shots, and um, it's always tough to move on from a great player like Ty. Obviously, he was the center point of a team, but you know we've got a lot of guys who are kind of stepping up and a really smart team that uh, a lot of guys can fill those holes. Chase, was it hard to fight off some of like maybe the emotions with all the familiar faces on the opposing bench? Uh. A little bit. I think maybe more for our coaches. It's a little different because you know they're in the coaching realm. But for us, it kind of it kind of broke the ice for me personally. You know, seeing those guys because they're I mean love Coach Pope to death, love Cody Fever. Um, you know, and we said hi to them before the game, and I think it was kind of an icebreaker. It was good though. But when the game started, you know, they were all business. So yeah, it's it's tough always playing you know old coaches. But I think you know we set those emotions aside and played well. You described when you made that three, and then I think you said something to Pope and then smiled. Uh, <laughs> Seems like it was in good nature. Yeah, I guess. I, I talk a lot, for those of you guys who know me, uh, and I kind of do that to get myself going. So, yeah, I just needed, I had to say something to him. I was just joking around with him, but yeah, it kind of got me going a little bit. Kyle, can you take us through those back to back blocks where it was a two on one, but you still got your hand on the ball and kind of shut that down? How did, what went through your mind, and how did you manage that on both ends? Oh, the first one I was just trying to, to time it up. I jumped for several head fakes throughout the game, so I tried to stay down on that one, time up the block, and I was able to do it. And then when I saw two guys coming on me at one, I, my first thought was like, oh crap. And then I uh, was able to just kind of time it up and get the, get the block. How do you carry that momentum over to the next game? I mean, is there a secret to that? Or uh, with your performance tonight, it was obviously huge, but how do you keep that going? Personally? Or yeah, personally. You know, for me, just. Go out there and, and play as hard as you can. Try to go out there, just have fun. You know, it's a, it's a great thing to be able to play college basketball. It's fun to be in environments like this. So just try to go out there and play hard, have fun, be there for my teammates. But uh, for me, what gets me going is rebounding. Like, when, if I feel like I can get that going, everything in the game starts to flow for me. So, and that's something I can control. You know, I can't really control if shots go in or, or, uh, or anything else, but I can control my effort going to try to collect uh, rebounds. 20 words for you on that end, but 69 for the team. Was there something that you guys were kind of ready for or looking for or prepared for tonight to, to really just own the blast like that? You know, I think we just got tenacious guys that want to go and clear the glass, and we got big guys between uh, Kyle and, and myself, Nate, uh, Corbin, and you got a bunch of uh, guys that will go and, and chase rebounds physically and hard. So. Uh, I think this is something we can continue to do, and, and hopefully we can play good enough defense to cause missed shots and, and just go and collect those those defensive rebounds and then snag some offensive as well. Chase, can you describe the difference this year maybe with, you know, you played a couple exhibitions, but the blue seats, the video boards, the rock was in, in full time. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, I think the upgrades to the mirror are awesome. I'm still getting used to, you know, being on the opposite side. It's kind of weird, but... Um, yeah, it's an awesome place to play. I mean, the pregame, I and mean, we don't have the curtains anymore, but all the lights, you know, 
everything our student section does is awesome. So I think it did nothing but help you know an arena that's already one of the best in the country. So it's a big advantage for us because I mean it's tough going in twenty thousand people rooting against you. So it's a, it's a big time home court advantage. Chase, you've been around the program a long time. Where do you think this team will make the most improvement in, in the next week or so? Uh, I think, you know, our offensive execution. And we put up a lot of points. We played well. But there were some times where, I'm sure you guys saw it, where the ball stuck a little bit and we forgot to play. Or, and, and that comes from playing together. And we've played together a lot this summer, but we've had a lot of injuries over the past couple of weeks. With You know, I've been out. Kyle Collinsworth's been out. KD's been out a little bit. So I think that will come more as we play together more. Our offensive execution will be even better, and with all the weapons we have, it, it you know it only you know enhance our offense. Chase, how much are you looking forward to that Long Beach State late to ESPN thing? Yeah, it'll be awesome. Hopefully, we can all stay awake for that and be ready. And it'll be a tough one to manage. But last year, the Long Beach game to open it was was unbelievable for me. My first game coming back, and they were an awesome team. With you know they had Mike Caffey and a lot of good guys and. Um, it's going to be a really good atmosphere with a really good team. Uh, and it'll be good for us to get on the road because we're going to be on the road a lot this year. And it's good for a young team with some young guys to uh, get on the road and you know play on ESPN and in a big time atmosphere. So I think it'll be good. And you know we just got to you know, take the road as it comes. Do you feel like this offense is going to go faster now with this shorter shot clock now with 30 seconds? Yeah, I definitely do. And I think you can feel it. But. And, you know, tonight it went really, really fast because, you know, Coach Pope and those guys wanted to play fast, you know, kind of like we do. He took Coach Rose's motto. So, um, yeah, I think it's a big advantage to us because we obviously want to get the first good shot we can. So I think, you know, it, it benefits us a lot. You right. guys locked down their two talented guards. Was that a focus coming into the game? Yeah, it was. We know Jaden Jackson had a really good exhibition game. And, you know, Kyle Collinsworth did really well on him. Um, you know, and they had the, the young kid. I think he was a JUCO guy, but we didn't have much on him, but we knew he was a good player. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, kudos to Co uh, Quincy Lewis. He really stressed that, and our coaches have been stressing that. And I think they knew if we shut a couple of those guys down, we could get out and transition and run, and uh, that really helped us. But Kyle did a great job on Jaden for sure. Okay, thanks, guys.